Hi everyone, Leah here. I've got some exciting news for everyone. I will continue to serve you on the commission. I'm so humbled by the support we received throughout the state during the campaign. It's a great honor to have the trust of voters throughout the state. And I can't tell you how thrilled I am to continue to work towards our shared goal of an Arizona energy plan that puts Arizonans first. I'd also like to congratulate Jim O'Connor and Ana Tovad on their victories. I look forward to working with both of you for the betterment of our state. Our victory could not be done without the help of so many people who worked tirelessly over the past year. First, I would like to thank my wonderful and supportive family, my husband Dan and my kids Emma and Luke, my parents Edmund and Priscilla and brother Edmund. You've always believed in me and challenged me and been there for me. Your unwavering support and enthusiasm has moved me to greater achievements and let me know how much you care. I want to thank my team for all their hard work in helping me get across the finish line. Special thanks to everyone that worked their tails off collecting petition signatures, gathering $5 contributions, and putting up signs and writing letters of support. I want to thank my campaign team, especially my co-chairs, the Honorable Eileen Klein and Honorable Steve Pierce. Their insight and knowledge were indispensable. I also want to thank Governor Ducey for appointing me to fill this open seat. This was truly a grassroots campaign, and I deeply appreciate every small group who allowed me to come and share my message, particularly the Arizona Federation of Republican Women. I'm blessed to have so many great friends helping my campaign, and I'm truly grateful for all of your time and energy. I decided to run as a clean elections candidate to restore the voters' trust in the Arizona Corporation Commission, which had been tarnished in the last election cycle. What makes this victory even more remarkable is that we achieved it with only 174000 in campaign spending, while outside forces gave $7 million in special interest money to my opponents. Today, we can truly say we ran a campaign for the people, and that's exactly how we'll lead. This race, my campaign, has always been about protecting the hardworking families in our state. The last year has been difficult for everyone, and I know that many families have been struggling and continue to struggle. I've fought to make sure families get the help they need with their utilities, whether that is providing rebates or suspending disconnect for those who have problems paying their utility bill. I promise you this, I will continue to do what is in the best interest of ratepayers and not out-of-state special interest groups or utility companies. Serving as your commissioner this year and last year and a half has been one of the greatest honors of my life. I'm eager to get back to work and ready to pull up my sleeves and to create an Arizona first energy policy that protects Arizona families and helps grow our economy while putting us on a pathway towards 100% clean energy in the future. I'm ready to tackle the issues I promised on this campaign and will continue to provide affordability, accountability, and reliability to ratepayers. I look forward to being your voice on the commission. Thank you all for your support.